Yo, what's going on guys? EK9 here. And as you guys can see, EA has released a new event. It is the All-Star event. The All-Star game is coming up, guys. And they released these cards. I believe they're all 88 overalls. And each uh, card's going to have its own boost depending on how well what happens. So... Uh, there will be two attributes boosted to 99 for each skills competition winner. Uh, for every goal scored by a player, they will go up one overall in the All-Star game. And the goalies will uh, receive a plus two overall for being on the winning team. Now the All-Star game MVP will be boosted to a 95. And all players from the winning team will be awarded an additional team synergy. So guys, these cards are looking mint to me. I think they look awesome. Uh, they got a bunch here. They got Shea Weber, Vasilevsky, Victor Hedman, Mitch Marner, Anderson, Bertuzzi, Duclair, Eichel, Huberto. Uh, the Atlantic looks pretty sick there. Then you got your Metropolitan with Oshie, Holpe, Carlson. You got Jones, Slavin, Barzell, uh, Jerry, Panarin. You got your Central. Look at that. Uh, look at the Blues representing, especially because it's in St. Louis. They got four of them. O'Reilly, Petrangelo, Bennington, and Perron. Uh, Patrick Kane in there. Shifley, they look pretty stacked. And then you've got the Pacific Division with Quinn Hughes, Pacioretty, all those kind of guys. So EA has released a bunch of new packs for this event. So you guys have your All-Star Game uh, Slick Silver and Sick Mitts pack, which gives you 20 items. Uh, at least 10 players with at least 180 plus for 20,000. The 100k pack, you do get 12 items, you get at least one gold collectible, and you get a guaranteed all-star game player item. So you guys are guaranteed 88 overall, but it is untradeable, unfortunately. But, I mean, depending on if you, who you get and if they score or not, that card's going to go up a few overalls. Plus the all-star game glorious navy blues uh, trumpet choice pack, which will give you 10 players over 5 rounds, so it's a choice pack, and you're guaranteed at least 282 overalls. So some pretty cool packs out i think that 100k packs definitely worth it not in the sense that you know you're going to necessarily get your value back because it is untradeable but i mean if you pull a Connor mcdavid or matthews or something they're probably going to score in the all-star game that card's going to probably at least be a 90 overall most of the players i assume will score i mean it's usually a pretty high scoring event to begin with so uh, they did release some hot challenges for the All-Star event as well. So as you guys can see, they have a bunch here. Weekday challenges and the All-Star game challenges as well. So guys, this event looks pretty sick to me. Uh, I'm pretty stoked for it myself. And they do have some sets here as well, guys. So as you guys can see, you can do the 50 players for the gold collectible. Uh, you can trade in three gold collectibles for a 33% chance of an All-Star item. Or you can do uh, nine gold collectibles for a uh, uh, for a random player. Or you guys can do ten gold collectibles, and then you get a one of three choice for each of the divisions here. So I mean, these sets they they take up quite a few gold collectibles, but I mean, depending on how good your luck is, this set could be pretty decent depending on what you get. But um, they're all, you're guaranteed at least an 88 overall. That's minimum. So that's pretty good. Um, but that's not all I want to talk to you guys about. So the All-Star Game sets out. Uh, it's looking pretty cool. But um, I made some moves on my team, guys. So here's how the team's looking. So we've got 90 Martin Neckis. This card just keeps getting better and better. He's playing really good in the NHL. Uh, so we got Neckis, Tavares, Lafreniere. Uh, we've got Patty Kane here. We got Claude Giroux, Lanny McDonald, Eichel, O'Reilly, Olofsson, plus Malkin, Stamkos, and Getzlaff. As you guys can see, I got a bunch of synergies on now, so my team is looking a lot better here. We're looking like a real team. I'm hoping to at least get 15 wins this tournament in the hut chance, but we're 1 0 right now. Uh, we got one timer efficiency on, net front presence, hold the blue line. We got Wrecking Crew, plus Breakout Master, plus Thread the Needle, and Sustained Pressure. And we got Workhorse. So as of right now, I think we got eight synergies on. So um, it's crazy. Yeah, we do. We got eight synergies activated. And this team's just looking better and better. I ended up picking up 86 Stammer. He's got 99 faceoffs. I mean, I had to go for him. Plus, he's got 2 to 1T. So I had to get him. Plus, I had to make a couple of moves to get full synergies. I made a couple of decisions that, you know, 
kind of hurt. Like losing Scotty Gomez kind of hurt me a little bit. On the defensive end, we ended up putting John Carlson on line three with Cam Fowler. So that's what we did here. And look at this. Like almost all of my players have synergies activated except for we got Rowinski doesn't have any. And I think he's the only one that doesn't have at least. Oh, no. And John Tavares. So, guys, that's like one of the biggest things I'll recommend to you is we're starting to get near the the time of the year where synergies are becoming bigger and bigger players have at least some of them have like two synergies with two uh, uh, attributes to each one so this is where you guys should be utilizing your synergies trying to get the best of what you can so like a team of the years for example John Carlson with his plus four on everything all the team of the year cards are gonna really help out for that fact not it doesn't even matter about their overall but on that front this is where you guys want to start utilizing because I'm telling you right now, the synergies do make a big difference in this game. Uh, like, look at this. One-time efficiency. You got a plus three to hand-eye, passing, offensive awareness, and slap shot power to everyone on your team. Uh, same thing with Wrecking Crew. You got a plus three to the whole team for acceleration, body checking, strength, and discipline. So now your team's stronger, they're quicker, and they take less penalties. All of this kind of stuff matters, guys, when you're playing. You might not notice it right away, but I'm telling you. But anyways, that's the way our team's looking, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Probably going to release a pack opening soon, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but look for one maybe in the next couple days. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, guys, for better content. We're almost at 200 subs. Let's get there, guys. We're at 195. All right, guys. See you guys soon.